What up, Alchemist? Today I want to go over the logger that Phoenix uses. Um, it's just the standard elixir logger. So let's jump in here. Emacs. Okay. And let's open our dev config here and see what's going on. So we got the logger set up here for the, the key for configuring it, um, the back end it's using, and the format. You can also check out, um, let's look at production. You can also set the level. So in production, they have level set to info. Uh, if you leave off the level, it defaults to debug. So that's why we're getting debug on our development environment. And if you check out the config, the base config, um, it's, it's setting up the metadata data and the format. So you see here, the format is different than in dev. Uh, so if you wanted to, you know, edit your dev format, we can definitely do that. So let's check that out. Back to our dev here. And let's say, you know, we want to put in the time and the date. All right, let's fire up our server. And if you look right here on the log, you see that we've got the time and the date. So awesome. So yeah, you can edit that. Um, if your environment and your tooling and your stuff is set up where you need specifically um, formatted logs, this is a great place to go in there and edit those up. Now, and, and that's, that's the template for it. Let's look at one thing here. Um, so say I'm editing the user and they're putting in, you know, a new password. And we come and check out the log. And if you look on the log right here, that password is filtered out. And also the password confirmation. So that's awesome. Um, but say you had, um, say this name field here was uh, like a credit card number. Um, you'll definitely want to add that to the filtered out passwords. So let's go ahead and add that and um, see what that looks like. All right, configure the Phoenix filtered parameters. All right, and let's say name. Like this is a credit card field. That. Log and name wasn't. Let's uh, restart the server here. I restart the server. Let's edit that one more time. All right. Uh, test, test. All right, submit. All right, you see the name is filtered out, but oops, password is no longer filtered. So when you configure this, um, remember that this will uh, overwrite the defaults that um, Phoenix has set up for you. So restart our server now and get in here and edit this user once again. Three, one, two, three. All right, check that out. So now the name is filtered out, password's filtered out, and password confirmation's filtered out. And if we had a credit card fill, that would be filtered out. Can't stress how important this is. Um, you don't want your passwords in plain text um, and your parameters and your logs. You don't want credit card numbers in there. Um, it's another you know, security thing that you have to worry about. So get those filtered out always. All right, the last thing I want to go over is building a custom uh, backend for your logger. So I'm just going to go over the basics of it here. Uh, let's see here. So this is where you would describe it here back, back ends all right and let's 
let's just call it the custom logger. All right. And I'm just going to create this here in the lib directory. Uh, custom logger. Okay. All right, dev module. Yeah, custom logger. All right. So for the logger, they use gen event. And you have to define a few function here on the knit. Uh, the name of your logger. All right, and say okay. And pass back a map with the name. And config. Config is just gonna be empty. I'm just doing a real bare bones logger here. Uh, do a handle call. So typically, if you were changing um, the config, you would handle that here. New config, you'd pass in the new config. Um, but I'm not going to do any of that in the state. So you can manipulate. Um, you'd get in the new config. You would take in the state. You'd you'd massage the state and then pass that back. But I'm just gonna. That's the same state. All right. And here's where your logger does its work on handle event. Uh, we'll take in the log level and the group leader. And then take in the logger. Your message, uh, timestamp. Uh, any metadata, all right, and the state, which is your config event here. I'm just going to make this real noticeable, custom logger back end, all right, and let's just build out a little log message here. Let's say level with your your log level and then let's just send the message all right and we'll io put event so you could you know send this off to a third party at this point um, you could send it to syslog any any type of work you you want to do with your log um, what would you'd handle it right here Okay, let's see if that works. Let's restart our server. And you can see right there that a custom logger um, is logging. And since we passed in the console logger as well, it's doing the same. It's logging as well. And so we can see that here. Let's go to another page. And yep, custom logger getting our level that we put, and then the message that it's passed. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, that's it for loggers. Um, if you like this episode and you want to see more, uh, please subscribe. Uh, have a great day.